Hey, this is Andrew Brown from ExamPro, and we're taking a look at the Microsoft 365 service lifecycle. So typically, a product or service lifecycle has three phases. The first phase is private preview, then the second phase is public preview, and the third phase is general availability, abbreviated as GA. And when a product or a service retires, it reaches the phase end of support. So let's take a closer look at these three phases, including the end of support. Looking at private preview, so in this phase, Microsoft may release a product or service to a limited number of users to test and evaluate new features or functionality, this does not come with formal support. And users are allowed to sign up to be members, but the preview release isn't made available to the public. Next, we have public preview. And in this phase, Microsoft typically releases public previews of products and services before their general availability release to receive feedback from a broad range of users. This phase allows users to explore and test upcoming functionality, and users may also receive some limited support depending on the product or service. Service. Moving on to general availability, so after the public preview is completed, Microsoft releases the product or service. The product or service now becomes available to all customers with formal support, known as the release version. The products and services in this phase have been through a full development and test lifecycle to ensure stability and reliability, and with Microsoft 365, new features are added to the products and services periodically taking a look at end of support. So eventually, older products or retired services can no longer be supported, and these products and services will reach the end of support. Once a product or service reaches end of support, it will no longer receive updates or assisted support. Customers are encouraged to migrate to the latest version of the product or service. So that's the Microsoft 365 service lifecycle.